it does seem if you sort of reason basically that there should be a lot of alien civilizations out there. If the human species, if earth is not that unique by basic, no matter the values you pick, uh, it's likely that there's a lot of alien civilizations out there. And if that's the case, why have they not at least obviously visited us or sent us loud signals that everybody can hear? Fermi's quoted as saying, sitting down at a lunch, I think it was with uh, Teller mm -hmm. and uh, Herb York, who was kind of the one of the fathers of the atomic bomb. And he sat down and he says something like, where are they? Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. meant, where are these yeah. other? And, um, be, and then he did some numerology where he calculated, you know, how many what they knew about how many uh, galaxies there are and how many stars and how many planets then are like the Earth and blah, blah, blah. Yep. That's been done much better by somebody named Drake. Uh, and so people usually refer to the, I don't know whether it's called the Drake formula or something, but it has the same conclusion. The conclusion is it would be a miracle if there weren't other, you know, uh, there's the statistics are so high that how can we be singular and separate? Uh, Th that so probably there is, but there's almost certainly life somewhere. Maybe there was even life on Mars a while back, but uh, intelligent life, probably. Why were we so? So, you know, the statistics say that communicating with us, I think that it's harder than people think. Uh, we might not know the right way to expect the communication, uh, but all the communication that we know about travels at the speed of light. And we, do, we, don't, we don't think anything can go faster than the speed of light. That limits the problem quite, quite a bit. And it uh, makes it difficult to have any back and forth communication. You could send signals like we try to or look for, but to have any communication, it's pretty hard when you it has to be close enough that the speed of light uh, would mean we could communicate with each other. And I, I think, and we didn't even understand that. I mean, it's, we're an advanced civilization, but we didn't even understand that a little more than a hundred years ago. Yeah. So uh, are we just not advanced enough, maybe, yeah. uh, to know something about that's the speed of light? Maybe there's some other way to communicate that isn't, Based on electromagnetism, I don't, I don't know. Gravity seems to be also this have the same speed. That was a principle that Einstein had, and something we've measured actually. So is is it possible? I mean, so we'll, we'll talk about gravitational waves, and it, in some sense, there's um, there's a brainstorming going on, which is like, how do we detect the signal? Like what would a signal look like and how would we detect it? And that's true for gravitational waves. That's true for basically any physics phenomena. You have to predict that that signal should exist. You have to have some kind of theory and model why that signal should right. exist. I mean, is it possible that aliens are communicating with us via gravity? Like why not? <laughs> well, it, it, why, yeah, it's true, why not? Uh, for us, it's very hard to detect these gravitational effects, they have to come from something pretty, that has a lot of gravity, like black holes. But we're pretty primitive at it at this stage. Uh, there's uh, very reputable physicists that look for a fifth force, one that we haven't found yet. Maybe it's the key. So, you know, it, it's possible. What would that look like? What, what would a fifth force of physics look like exactly? Well, usually they think it's probably a long range for longer range force than we have now. Um, but uh, there are reputable f colleagues of mine that spend their life looking for a fifth force. So longer range than gravity? Is it yeah, like yeah. Super It long? doesn't fall off like one over R squared, but maybe separately. We, uh, gravity... Uh, Newton taught us goes like inversely one over the square of the distance apart you are. So it falls pretty fast. That's okay. So now we have a theory of what consciousness is. It's just the fifth force of uh, uh, physics. Force. Yeah. There we go. That's a good hypothesis. 